you welcome to my channel we are introducing another topic in business statistics known as measures of central tendency yeah. measures of central tendency these describe the data entirely they try to focus on the center of distribution of data and under measure of central tendency you come up with a single figure which acts as a representative of the entire data set like you try to combine things up and come up with one figure that explains the whole data set instead of explaining one by one. The measures of central tendency are very important in comparison. For example, comparing the average height of boys and girls. So they are mainly used in comparing. Yeah. Examples of measures of central tendency we have mean, also known as arithmetical average. Then we have mod, harmonic mean, percentiles, geometric mean, quadratic mean, median. They are all measures of central tendency. So you come up with one figure, for example, the mean figure that explains the entire set of data. And those are the measures of central tendency. And the commonly used measures of central tendency are mean, mod, and then median whereby mean is the most commonly used among the three, followed by mod and then median. So the commonly used the three and the what we shall be looking at in our next videos, mean, mod, and then median. And then the most common is mean among the three.